Hey, I'm Lee with Old Sneak One. Today we've got a real interesting case. This is a three-year-old that a client just bought. Really nice cow horse. And he is 100% sound, but while doing the pre-purchase x-rays, the vet was concerned about the bony column alignment. And they asked me to take a look at it. And it's one thing that I highly recommend for horse owners is to get x-rays taken because they can easily send them to your farrier with this right here, pop up on your phone, know exactly what you're working with and see exactly what's going on inside. So at first glance, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a pretty, looks pretty nice. But if you look a little farther, this horse has excessive heel and an upright foot. And what it does is pushes P2 that way and the coffin bone this way. So the problem is, is that there's not a lot of sole depth too. So you can get in a lot of trouble on this horse if you're not careful. Our goal today is to drop these heels down and there doesn't have a lot of sole depth. So we gotta be careful right here. So we're gonna bring him back down to where he should be and have a balanced foot and hopefully head off future problems because the fact is, is that this horse would probably go along just fine for several years. But when you get this horse in his teenage years, all of these are like the straws that broke the camel's back, right? Just a little bit, little bit, little bit more. Then when you need this horse at his prime of his life, that's when these things are gonna be a problem. Now when we're getting in here, number, the number one thing that we can do is trim this frog up because it's an optical illusion at this point right now because the whole thing is proportions on how we need this hoof capsule to be healthy. So finding the real point of the frog and getting the frog trimmed back is gonna show us how far back the heels need to come. And I don't, the last thing I wanna do is over trim this frog. Trimming the frog is utmost important to me on a, any situation, but especially this one because it's lying to you because it was stretched too far forward and then it's too high up. So now if you look down this foot, you can see exactly how high the heels are. They're very high. But also by trimming this frog back, it was clear up here and now we pulled it back. So now we know how we want to place our shoe. Trimming the bars out is going to help expand this foot. The bars are a lot like a rafter in a house. A bent bar is like a bent rafter. It's absolutely useless. The last thing we want to do is go in here though because he doesn't have any sole depth, right? If you run a rasp or a tool across it, the depth that's from here to the trimmed frog is how much depth there is. But also that's where having those x-rays that we got are so important because I knew that before I even picked the foot up. I think taking x-rays is one of the most important things any horse owner can do. It just kind of helps maintain and catch problems that might be arising. And it just makes your farrier's life easy. They will love it. I'm just gathering this hoof wall that's stretched right here from all the weight being on his toe. The last thing I want to do is hinder this horse. So over trimming the frog, over trimming anything is bad. We just trying to get back to basics is all we're doing right here. So you can see that our trim helped a lot. It brought the heels down. So that alone is going to let the coffin bone come down and let P2 drift back in to where this is in perfect alignment, such as, such as that right there kind of effect. Hopefully my shoe enhances that and makes him the best that he can be. For this shoe, you can tell this isn't a very big horse. So we're gonna use a TS7. It's from Delta Mustad. It's really nice. It's got a nice shape for a quarter horse foot. It'll fit right on there. When you bring the heels down, now it's gonna expose the long toe. So we're gonna to have to bring the shoe back just a little bit. And what I did right there is I just relieved just a little sole pressure, but on a horse with no sole, you gotta be really careful about that. So that's why it's important to do it in your shoe. On a horse like this, I like to use the Capewell Slim Blades because they're not very invasive and they got a larger head so they fit in the shoe really nice. So that means it's not going to tear the walls up and then it's going to have a lot of holding power. And when I'm shoeing this horse, I'm looking at proportions. I'm looking for center, center. It's, it's only a double out foot, right? So we don't need a bunch of nails. We don't need to be that invasive. So 
three on the outside, two on the inside on a double lot foot is really just fine. And if you're clipping it, you can use a lot less than that. All right, so we got it wrapped up. I think we've really leaped some bounds. We've set him up for success to, for future soundness. Uh, is it perfect? No, but we have come a long way and the next one will be better. My goal is usually on the third time to get him where we want him. Get um, probably 70% the first day and then get the rest in the next two shoots. So it really cleaned up pretty well. And just keep in mind the bony column that the vet was talking about. So if you look straight down, hopefully Everything is in a lot better angle. You can tell that the heel height is better. We can still get it down a little bit farther than that, but that's not something you want to do all at one time because everything in this leg, tendons and ligaments, have stretched and are used to being up high, and you'll pull this horse apart if you try to make too many changes in one time. So if you look under here, everything finished really well. The heels are covered. He's set up um, to be a little proactive for expansion right here. And the breakover should look really good on if we get an x-ray. But now, if we go get some x-rays taken of this horse as soon as he leaves here, we'll know exactly how we did and how we can adjust it next time. So we just got some x-rays taken. She left my shop and went straight to the vet. So you can see by the x-rays that we've definitely helped him. The bony column has improved quite a bit. The long heels are now gone. I think we set ourselves up for success and we'll get it better in the next couple shoeings and this horse is gonna have a better future because we were proactive and the horse owner went and got x-rays.